And now to developments in Chicago's migrant crisis. People continue to face multiple problems at a shelter in Pilsen, including leaks. Christian Farr explains how City Council's Latino Caucus is trying to tackle these real concerns. More oversight and more communication. 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sincho Lopez says that was one of the conclusions that came after Chicago's Latino Caucus met this morning. That closed door meeting followed reports that Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration knew that there were issues at a Pilsen shelter more than a month before a five year old boy died at that same shelter. We have a, a tragic death and, and again, conditions that are, are inhumane with no alternatives. Back in December, five year old Jean Carlos Martinez suffered a medical emergency at the shelter in the 2200 block of South Halstead. Video obtained from a source with connections to that shelter documented conditions in early December with water dripping from the ceiling onto shelter beds and several children appearing to be sick. All I want to make sure is that, that people are, are living safely. But city officials pushed back in response to each of those concerns that were raised. Pipes with raw sewage and, you know, insects uh, and then... Um, you know, food. So these are all, to me, these are all basic things that we need to be doing very well. In response to these claims, the mayor's office issued a response saying the city was aware of issues raised regarding conditions at the shelter at 2241 South Halstead and had actively been in the process of addressing the situation. Alderman Cincho Lopez says this morning's meeting led to some much needed changes. Changes in the Department of Family and Support Services uh, to make sure that we have adequate staffing reporting when it comes uh, to uh, to complaints. Alderman Cincho Lopez says that the Latino caucus will meet bi-weekly to try and address these issues with shelters and migrants. At City Hall, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. Thanks to Christian.